So guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be chatting about the 79 rated Inform, Jaden Sancho. Now this guy in real life is on fire at the moment and he's been rewarded in foot with an Inform item. It's worth noting that originally in Ultimate Team this guy is a 72 rated left mid. Anyway, before we get into things, if you could leave a like on the video, that would be awesome. Drop a comment below as well, let me know your thoughts on this card, and also let me know who you'd like me to do a video on next. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, let's get in to this player review. Okay, so let's take a look at this guy's in-game stats. On this page, there are some good-looking stats, but there are also some absolutely terrible ones. Um, the dribbling department looks great. He's got 92 agility, 89 balance, 87 in-game dribbling, and 83 ball control. That's all well and good. The shooting department, on the other hand, looks absolutely terrible. 68 finishing, 56 long shots, 69 shot power. Yeah, that shooting section looks absolutely terrible. The passing columns, okay. Nothing too special in there, but also nothing too terrible. Um, the 59 passing isn't ideal, but the 73 shot passing isn't too bad. Physically, Sancho does only have 57 strength, which isn't ideal, and also, also, sorry, the composure of 63 isn't too great to see either. Anyway, attributes aside, how was this informed Sancho in game? Well, to be honest with you guys, he wasn't great. He wasn't very good at all. His dribbling was class. He's fun to use when in possession of the ball. He felt agile, he controls the ball well, and he's good for skill moves, and he regularly pulls off some fancy flicks. The guy creates plenty of openings for himself and others, but he just isn't able to take full advantage of said openings. The guy seemingly has very little end product. Now, you don't need me to tell you that his shooting's poor. You've seen that by looking at the stats, and sadly, I do have to confirm that the stats are accurate, and his shooting, whether it be a finesse shot, a power shot, a long shot, whatever it may be, it's poor. This guy is not a player that you can rely on to put the ball in the back of the net. His passing's a bit better than his shooting. I felt his passing overall was all right. Um, well, his short passing was anyway. The through balls were poor and his crossing was okay. He probably should have had more assists than what he got for me. He ended up with three assists for me. He probably could have had a few more if um, Conor Pianke could head the ball properly. Um, with this guy having medium, medium work rates, I didn't expect him to push up the field too much and... He didn't. He actually sat back sometimes, which was a bit annoying. But when he did get forward, when the team got forward, Sancho did make some decent runs down the wing. So yeah, this has ended up being one of my quicker reviews because simply put, this card really isn't very good. The dribbling's great. I've got not too many complaints about the dribbling. But the shooting's poor and the passing as a whole is average at best. Also, his stamina isn't great and he's not very strong. He doesn't. He battles occasionally, but um, he's going to lose most battles. Hopefully throughout the year, Sancho keeps up his current form and he gets a bunch of special cards. So his shooting, passing, and physicals get better. But um, yeah, this current card really isn't very good. So do I advise picking this card up? Not really. Should you use him in foot champs? Definitely not. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Inform Jaden Sancho, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please remember to leave a like on it. Comment below your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.